Some games worth checking out the trophy list are starting to roll in, and certainly Black Myth Wukong is one of them. This game has been highly anticipated for quite some time, ever since that first trailer dropped, where we saw this Souls-like game, which is actually a boss rush game now that we uh, got more information about it, that depicts an uh, adaptation of Journey to the West, and with some crazy powers, crazy abilities, crazy bosses. These bosses are nuts, and they look like they're very well designed to put a lot of care into these bosses. And this game is certainly taking over. As you can see on Steam, the numbers don't lie. You can't lie on Steam. This game is taking over. It is really taking off. So we got to check out the trophies for this one. And I, I held off as long as I could to do this for a very, very specific reason that these trophies when you look at them at face value without like context or a guide these trophies are in riddles and rhymes all of them all 32 of them or sorry 36 of them are all in riddle and rhyme how am i supposed to talk about this if all the trophies are in Rhymes, what do we do? So as you can see the first time I saw the trophies with my own eyes This is was my my face and my amazement How am I gonna make a video if I can't talk about the trophies? I don't even know what they are So I waited I decided to do Concord instead and I said oh, I would come back in a couple days because PowerPix is working on a guide themselves they say this game is a 5 out of 10, 35 to 60 hours, and they're still parsing through what the hardest trophies are, um, what the missable trophies are, what the collectibles are, what are, what are the story trophies. They're parsing through this, and they say that the portrait's perfect trophy requires 100% completion and beating all bosses. So we already know that we're going to have to 100% complete this game. And they parse through that it's one playthrough. But starting New Game Plus, um, currently unknown if a full second playthrough in New Game Plus is required, potentially could be needed to craft all the weapons and armors. Uh, so it could be one and a half to two playthroughs of the game. There is free roam, so it says after the end boss in chapter six, you're put to the title screen. You can click continue to go back to the end boss, uh, and therefore you can travel to all the places before. Uh, NPCs, bosses, secret areas, collectibles are still there after the story. So before you click into your new game plus mode you can actually do everything you need to you don't have to worry about stopping at the end boss you can go beat the end boss um, and do that so let's see if we can um, uncover what some of these trophies are individually this one in particular it says here it's a work in progress some trophies haven't been solved yet and that is pretty much evidenced by if you go down, some of these trophies on here are 0%. Nobody has the platinum yet. So some of these trophies are even so cryptic that people have not found out how to do them yet. So I definitely see it. I definitely see how this could be a problem. Nobody has the platinum yet. This game is out already. Nobody in pre the the pre-review period got the platinum so we're just going to have to uh go by the word of these guys these guys are putting the work in to make the guide and we're not going to be able to see the full scope of the platinum yet because nobody has it so i'm looking at a trophy here and it seems like even unlocking the bosses in game uh could be 
a little tricky. It says unlocked by beating the secret chapter 1 boss Elder Jinchi. To reach him you must ring all three bells in chapter 1, see bell locations, they are automatically then you are automatically teleported to the boss. So there are secret bosses that you can fight. No wonder some of the trophies might not be found by everybody. There are some secret ways to find some of these secret bosses. Others are automatic story trophies that you're gonna get anyways. There's this one, Shifting Sands. The beetle came with drumbeats call and left the waves gentle fall. And it says here, unlocked in chapter 2, beating the secret boss Fuban. And then there's a huge list of things that you need to do. So there are regular bosses you're going to fight. And then there are secret bosses uh, that you're going to fight in secret areas that require secret ways to unlock them. And th this game ain't telling you shit. It's not even giving you that big of a hint. See? There's trophies here, Frost and Flame, Meet the March, that don't have trophy descriptions yet. I guess they're still working on it. There's even ones that they're not sure of, uh, that they, uh, they're they doing it correctly. Unconfirmed, believed to be for killing six Baw Frogs bosses found throughout the game. The Clamor of Frogs, six frogs, six skills, how intriguing. So you have to beat these, these frogs, and one of them is currently missing, one in chapter five, currently missing. They found five of them. Then there's one here, unlock for talking to the old man NPC to upgrade your gourd to the maximum of 10 healing charges. So, healing trophy. And then it tells you how you can do that, the location of him and uh, how you can do it. Then there's six senses secured, unlock by starting new game plus. After the story which ends at the after beating the chapter 6 end boss, you can go back to the title screen, choose the option, enter a new cycle. After the first two cutscenes, as soon as you start fighting the prologue boss, the trophy will unlock. You probably want to do everything else before you uh, overwrite your save. Uh, this is probably the last thing you want to do. Then you got journal entries, humans, beasts, Yaoguais and the Bodhisattvas. All recorded and noted, completed for the journal entries for all lesser of these guys, 100% completion. That's part of the big trophy for 100% completion. All the four vessels now belong to me, unlocked by collecting all four vessels. And you have locations. So, some of these are going to be collectible trophies. Um, all spells we know are derived from the same source. Unlock for me at the start of New Game Plus, after the first two cutscenes, as soon as you start fighting the prologue boss. Possibly... Must have been obtained all spells in the first play playthrough. There might be some spells that you get when you start a new cycle. So another thing you probably want to do after you've collected everything and got 100% in the main game. Uh, probably uh, one you're going to want to hold out for. And then there's a lot of unconfirmed trophies. These are the ones that people have not gotten. There are not that many people have gotten yet. Those ones I showed you at the bottom of the list, um, they kind of have an idea of what they're for. Um, there's one here, un unconfirmed belief for finding all gourds and soaks, upgrading the gourds healing percentage to maximum uh, using the awakened wine worms. Um, there's another one here, belief for crafting all weapons at Keeper's Shrine, belief for crafting all armor at Keeper's Shrine. So people haven't done that yet. Fickle forms for unlocking all transformation and spirit skills. Uh, that one they know, so uh, they have the locations there. Whether they have them all is, I'm not sure. Unconfirmed belief for um, collecting all soaks and gourds, all soaks and gourd locations. And then there's more. There's the last one, Scenic Seeker, the most marvelous place for meditation. Uh, have all your met your gaze. Find all 24 meditation spots. So, as you can see, this game has come out, and we have not figured out everything that it has to offer. We're still trying to figure out how to do some of this stuff. Nobody has the Platinum yet. So, if you want to be part of the process of finding everything we know about this game, you still can. You can still do it. Get in there. Start playing, like, 
and uh, see if you can figure it out for yourself. Otherwise, you might have to wait until they fully finalize this list. That's probably going to take a little bit of time. People are still uncovering all its secrets and the developers game science have left it a secret on purpose with these trophy names where these descriptions don't say anything that might maybe a little 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 hint but you have to be pretty smart to figure it out let me know down in the comment section if you're checking out this game what you think of it are you gonna go for the platinum now are you gonna wait let me know I want to know what you guys are, are uh, doing when it comes to this game. And of course, subscribe to the Platinum Experience for more videos like this. And I hope all your Journey to the West trophy expeditions go incredibly well. And peace out.